Hi, this is Bill from Moyer Fine Jewelers. I'm here today with Eddie, the training manager for IWC, and he's gonna discuss some of the product we have here uh, and tell you the ins and outs of them. And we look forward to hearing what you have to say. Okay, so we selected two of our biggest families, um, especially here in North America, the Portuguese right here and uh, the pilot family. So we picked uh, four of our best references in each family and uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring some, uh, some cool information about these different pieces. So why don't we start with the Portuguese? Should we do? Great. Portuguese chronograph. So let me, uh, let me pull that one out. It's actually uh, one of our best sellers uh, globally here. Portuguese chronograph, um, it's been around since 1995 um, in that design, so it hasn't changed much ever since, so that's why we talk a lot about uh, timeless elegance and um, timeless design with IWC, specifically when you look at a piece like this that really barely moved from, uh, from the 90s. Actually, the Portuguese line started in 1939, um, when we designed this timepiece originally, it was a 43 millimeter. If you look at, I'm wearing one as well, the Portuguese. If you look at a Portuguese of today, it basically is the same design than in 1939, of course, with today's technology. But from a design standpoint, it really stayed true to the uh, to the original design. So this piece here, um, beautiful Portuguese chronograph, uh, on a stainless steel version like this, it retails for 6,900. So very interesting uh, positioning as well. What do you think? It's beautiful. Yeah? One of your favorites or no? Do we have I any other? I have my favorites over here. Okay, highlight. <laughs> Good. All right, so of course here we had selected uh, just a different um, color combination with a black dial, steel version as well. And then we are moving to the Portugueser um, automatic version here. So we actually have a, a gold, uh, 18 karat red gold case. Um, very beautiful contrast. The slate gray dial is absolutely beautiful with the 18 karat red gold case. What is the name of that dial? We call it a slate gray dial. Um, in French, and I'll use my French accent, we would say, we would say gray ardoise, uh, which means slate gray. So the most beautiful part is probably actually in the back. So I'll, I'll take that, uh, that strap out if I can here, so that you can actually enjoy the movement here. So this is a very famous caliber for us, caliber 52,000. So it's a seven day power reserve automatic movement um, with a peloton system, which means it's a double winding system in both directions. So we call it a bi-directional self-winding uh, movement. Uh, same thing, it's been around for a while now, so we perfected that technology for, so uh, for a few more, decades. Much now. more efficient way of winding. Of winding the watch, absolutely. Yeah. So you're basically, as you move throughout the day, you you use every opportunity to wind a watch, whereas uh, a lot of other automatic movements or the, with uh, one direction only, you would lose half of your opportunities as you move uh, to wind the, the, the movement. So yeah, seven day power reserve, you have the power reserve display here, small second at, uh, at nine o'clock, a window date at six, and, uh, and that's it. Beautiful. So same family, but we, um, we go to a, an interesting complication that we have uh, actually only in two families at IWC. The uh, Portuguese and the pilot receive the annual calendar treatment. So this one is a steel version with a blue dial and the annual calendar uh, at 12 o'clock. So you will find the um, month and then the date in the middle and then the day of the week uh, on the right hand side. And similar movement, it's the same base Caliber 52,000, we just added an annual calendar module on top, but it's the same base movement, so with the seven day power reserve that you will also find here. Pilot? Yes. All right, so let's go to, all right, so the, the selection was interesting here. We went with the best seller, so what really is the popular uh, piece in the Pilot collection. We also selected two of the novelties that released uh, very late uh, in 2017, so it's been around for a few months only. And then one of my favorite timepiece in the my pilot collection. Piece, yeah. So uh, we'll close with uh, with this one. So let's start with the the Little Prince here. So the Little Prince is one of the most iconic uh, dial color for the pilot collection. Uh, reason being, it's a blue dial. Um, there's a big story behind. Uh, maybe I'll mention it briefly. Sure. 
The story of The Little Prince starts with Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. So he was a, a French pilot that um, crossed the border, crossed the ocean many times during the Second World War. He was a famous pilot, but also a famous writer. So he wrote The Little Prince book, which uh, in North America, maybe not as much, but in Europe, it's really a big thing, part of the education. When you grow up, um, you usually study uh, the book. It's, it's really a life lesson. And, and so we decided to partner with the foundation that was created after Antoine de Saint-Exupéry that supports illiteracy around the world. So we, we actually uh, contribute every year to the different projects that the, the foundation has around the world. Uh, we take care of kids, we, we build um, different schools, etc., libraries to support the foundation. And, um, and of course we dedicated the dial color to the little prince himself because the book is blue, he goes on the blue planet, he's, uh, he's wearing blue, um, so the blue dial is really a tribute to the prince himself. And the, and the strap? The strap is actually calf leather, um, partnering with Santoni. So you probably know the Italian shoemaker, Santoni. Um, they technically have the best alligator and calf skins in the world. So we have an exclusive partnership with Santoni um, and they provide us with the super quality, super high quality leather. So as soon as you see an orange back on any of the IWC straps, it would be a Santoni. So that's the pilot chronograph. Then we go to the heritage. So this is a newer family within the pilot collection. Um, heritage because we're paying tribute to really the original designs of the pilots that started in 1936. Um, the way we're doing it this year is with a titanium case. So you will find a very light timepiece, whether it's on the Mark 18, 40 millimeter or the big pilot, 46. Similar design, it's a black dial with this creamy um, font and graphics. And then you have blue hands with the super luminova treatment. Uh, very beautiful timepiece. Um, caliber uh, 52,000 on this one, so it's a seven day power reserve uh, on the big pilot here, which explains a little bit the, the thickness as well with the big crown, very iconic uh, for the big pilot as well. Um, beautiful, super, super uh, light pieces, which changes for usually pilot watches that are a bit on the sure. heavier side. This is a nice, um, a nice case material this for it. This doesn't look like anything else out in the marketplace. Totally, the contrast of the, the, the polished uh, titanium and the black dial doesn't really exist in the industry, so nice beautiful. pieces. Yep. Now our favorite. Favorite. All right, so we call this the time zoner. So it's part of our pilot family as well. It's, it's kind of a, uh, a piece that stands out of the core collection. It's still mm -hmm. part of the classic um, subfamily of the pilot with a black dial and white font. We call it the time zoner because it has something really special. It has some special capacities. So what you will find on the bezel um, are 24 cities that represent the 24 time zones uh, that exist. And the way you operate it, it it's really the power of this, uh, this timepiece. Usually a lot of our customers for this piece, they are actually pilots. And they travel back and forth in time zones. So what you're able to do with this piece is that you place at 12 o'clock the time zone you're in and say uh, tomorrow I'm flying to Paris, which is my hometown by the way. So I will just push the bezel, rotate to put Paris at 12 o'clock and it will automatically adjust the time to the local time in Paris. So I don't have to do anything. Super simple. Press the bezel, rotate it back and forth. It depends on where you're flying. If you're going east or west um, and you place the city you're in at 12 o'clock and you will get your local time. What you will find in the center with this um, sub dial here with this red uh, arrow is actually the, the same time in military format. So you know uh, if you're in AM or PM. Mm -hmm. And another thing is that the date actually changes as well. So say you're passing the day um, on the other side of the world, you will see I'll do it now. But if I move on and pass 12 p.m., uh, 12 a.m., sorry, no, you will get to first. Oh, here we go. So let me just adjust the time here. So we're not right on top of the... Uh... Here go. All right, so, so uh, say I pass midnight here, And the calendar changes from 31 to 1. No chance of damaging a date wheel. That's Not at all. Perfect. And you're yeah. back, same thing. So it goes back and forth and the date as well. One of the cool things I, I noticed about this watch is it has a spot for daylight savings time. 
Yeah, absolutely. Which is makes super easy. Right there. So let's say um, we'll pick Los Angeles, for example. So let's put so Los Angeles at 12 o'clock. If you're in daylight saving, you will see a little S here. So you just put the S for daylight saving at 12 o'clock and it, it will adjust to the local time with daylight saving. On top of that, you add a flyback chronograph complication. Beautiful. Um, so pretty nice uh, timepiece, beautiful, super unique. And how much is this one? This retail for 10,000, no, 11,900. Okay, let's have a toast. IWC. Cheers to IWC. Thank you Cheers. very much.